Hi there, I'm Sam Jones and welcome into today's 10 minute stretch workout. We're gonna be doing our lower body and our back today, a little bit of our back. So we're gonna be going for 30 seconds on with a 10 second change over between the exercises. You can do this every single day or you can do these every couple of days just to help with loosen up your hips, loosen up your legs and your lower back. And it's good for people that do you know, a lot of lower body exercise and also who are office workers. So it's a really good uh, little routine to do. So a little bit lesser than what we've done in previous videos, but I do appreciate your support. And of course, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you do appreciate the value of the content that I do give you guys, because it's about helping you guys, that's what it's about. And so our first exercise is a quad stretch that we're gonna be doing. The demonstration is just in the bottom right hand corner of your screen there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it like so. So away we go, 30 seconds. So you wanna keep your knees close together with this one, okay? So keep your knees close together and try not to have your thigh too far in front of the other thigh, you wanna keep the thigh behind and try not to arch your back, okay? So I'm just grabbing on the shoelaces here and I'm using the wall as support and I'm trying to feel that stretch across the top of my thigh there, okay? I do a lot of lower body exercises so I do typically get a little bit tighter, three, two, one and relax. So take that 10 second recovery and I'm just gonna do the other side now. Okay, so we'll do some exercises, standing up, some stretches and then some on the ground. All right, away we go. So again, keeping the knees close together, so don't have your knee too far out to the side. Keep the knees close together, chest is up, pulling that thigh behind the other thigh that is stationary. Okay, so we're gonna do about 16 stretches here. Now you can do them a couple times through if you choose to as well. It's totally fine. And it's a good way just to get the blood flowing you know, especially if you're waking up throughout, the, if you wake up in the morning and relax. Now we're gonna do a standing hip flexor stretch. So we'll do it on the right side first. So left leg in front, right foot behind. So three, two, one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lean forward and we're stretching the top of the hip flexor here. So the back leg is straight, chest is up, and I'm just squeezing the glute on this side, okay? So I'm not leaning forward at my torso too much. Stay nice and tall, leaning forward. Like so, it's a hip flexor stretch. So if people that are doing a lot of bending over throughout the day, leaning forward or sitting down a lot, this is a good little stretch here just to open up your hips a little bit, okay? Because if you get tight hip flexors, you can get a little bit of a lower back pain as well. So three, two, one, and relax. Swap it around to the other side. Remember, you can use the wall for support. So nice long stride on the back toe, back leg is straight. Three, two, one, lean forward on that front leg. Squeeze this glute on this left side. Keep the chest elevated, and we're just feeling the stretch just along the top of our thigh, of our hip there, front of our hip. So if you are if you're not feeling this as much, what you can do is you can bring the arms up above and lean a bit more forward into it as well, okay, if you choose to do that. So nice and tall here, guys. That's it, we're gonna be doing a groin stretch next, so I want you guys to be on the ground with this next one. Three, two, one, and relax. So sitting down, okay, I'm gonna be facing you. Ooh. Get the feet close together. Heels and soles, your feet touching each other. Three, two, one, and we're down. Pushing those knees out to the side. Keep the chest nice and tall. So we're just feeling on the adductors there in the groin area. And make sure your chest is up. Deep breaths with this one too, guys. So breathing in and then as you breathe out, pushing those knees out to the side a little bit, okay? So it's really good. Just focusing, relaxing, taking your time. All right, good. We've got the glute knee stretch now. So sitting down one leg in front like so, bring the other leg over the top, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hook this hand by your side and get the elbow into that knee, push it out. So just squeeze, we wanna feel that stretch just across the glute, glute knee here, like so. Focusing on twisting the spine as well when you do so. Twist your spine, untwist the spine towards you. Okay. All right, so pushing that knee across the body, feeling that stretch there. Two, one, and swap it around. So this time we're going to have the, the left leg in front, I should say, because the right foot in front this time. Right leg over the top, bring that left elbow across the outside of that right knee, and then away we go. So we're going to push that knee across. Twist in the body, the opposite direction, feeling that stretch across the gluteal area. 
deep breaths with this one, guys, and just relax it through it. The next one we're gonna be just lying on our back. We're gonna be doing a lower back stretch with this next one, okay? So lower back. So this is where we're focusing on the glutes, the hips, the quads, hamstrings coming up and relaxed. And then the lower back here as well. So lying down on your back. We're gonna bring one leg across the body, like so. Keep your shoulders down on the ground, knee at 90 degrees. Three, two, one, push that knee down, like so. Eyes are up to the ceiling with this one, keeping the shoulders down on the ground and try to get that knee down as far as you can towards the ground by using your other hand to push it down. Remember, don't go too far past the stretch. You just want to feel it. Just go to the point where you feel it, where you feel that stretch taking place and then deep breath in and then breathing out, pushing that little bit more. Three, two, one and relax. Swap it around to the other side. So other leg now is straight, bringing that other leg across the body. So this I'm a little bit tighter on this side here. Keeping your shoulders down. Three, two, one, and away we go. So on the right side here is right glute. I'm a little bit tighter. And that right lower back here, I'm a little bit tighter as well. So just focus on this one, guys. Keeping your shoulders down. Try not to bring your shoulder up and over, okay, with this one. One and relax. Beautiful. Same position. We do a glute stretch this time. Okay, so this time we're going to keep our left foot on the ground, cross that right leg over the top, like so. Put your hands through and then pull that knee into your chest. So we're away here. So we're stretching the glutes on the right side with this one. Okay, you can rest your head on the ground, just bringing that, or you can lift your chest up a little bit. Okay, just make sure that you're feeling that stretch. We're feeling it push through the glute muscle through here. Okay. So the, see the legs crossed over, the other, the top of the knee. I've slipped my hand through and I'm grabbing my hand on the other side, pulling that knee in. Three, two, one, relax. Swap it around to the other side. Just relax your neck on this one. Cross the leg over, other side. Three, slip your hands through and away we go. Pull in that knee into your chest. Now we're stretching the left side here, okay? So the left leg is crossed over, we're stretching the left glute on this particular stretch. We've only got a handful more to go, doing really well. Good one just to get the body flow, blood flowing throughout the day. You can do this in the morning. And the more you do it, you know, the more it becomes a habit and routine. And it's just good to get a little bit of movement going as well. Three, two, one, and relax. We're going to just do a seated hamstring stretch, okay? So a seated hamstring stretch. So the first one's with the left side. So left leg in front. Right foot on the inside of your thigh. Three, two, one, pulling over the top like so. And we're gonna actually increase the stretch. So what we can do, we're gonna come over the top with our right hands. And this is good for our QL on the right side, which is a good stabilizer of the spine when we're walking and running and stuff like that. Involved in a lot of rotation. So we're stretching the hamstring on our left side and then also the lower back and our obliques also on the right side. Two, one, and relax. Other side, swapping around. So right leg in front this time, left foot on the inside of the thigh, right hand over the top like so. Three, two, one, lean into that stretch, feeling the stretch in the back of your leg into the knee, coming over the top with your left side, your left arm, for the left side. Deep breaths here, guys. Focus. If you are struggling with the hand over the top, just focus on getting the hand, focus on that hamstring area there. You don't have to do that additional lower back area if you don't want to on this one. It's totally fine, okay? Two, one, and then relax. Good. Going into cat cow. So we've got three to go. We're going to be doing just a little bit of the back area now. So hands and feet, hands and knees, I should say, like so. Three, two, one. We're going to round our back here, tuck your chin into your chest. And then we're gonna go into poking the hips out, lift that chest, uh, drop down in the middle of your back, lift the head up again, tucking everything in, and then going, tucking everything out. So breathe it in, deep breath in as you come up, and then breathe out. Up again, and out. Breathe it in, last one, and relax it, coming out. Good. 
me. I'm going to do child's pose. So, what you should do is put your heels down or your bum onto your heels. Three, two, one. Chest down onto your thighs. Hands straight out in front. And we're just going to be just holding this position here. Deep breath. Bring your forehead towards the ground as well. Keep your forehead on the ground. Deep breaths here. Yeah, just relaxing. Child's pose. Just relax into the stretch, guys. Keep your backside onto your heels. Two, one, and relax. Beautiful. We've got Cobra stretch, last one, okay? So we're going to do a bit more of a dynamic one on this one. So lie down like so, hands by your chest. Three, two, one, we're lifting up in the air, and then coming back down. Squeezing your shoulder blades together, lifting the chest, come back down. If you can straighten your arms on this one, fantastic. Try to keep your hip bones, the front of your hips, on the ground as well. Okay, because you really want to target that middle back area rather than the lower back as well. Couple more to go. Nice. And try to get a little bit further each time if you can. Beautiful. And relax. Woo, there you go, guys. That is it. That is a little stretch routine that you can do. It's 16 exercises, 16 stretches, moving the lower body and the back area as well. Of course, guys, as I said earlier, if you like the video, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate your support. And if you have any comments or feedback on the video, please put it in the comments section and let me know what other videos you'd like to see on the channel as well so you can, I can help to improve your health and quality of life going forward. And also check out the 12 week all in shred transformation program, which is a home program that you can do with this amount of space. We've got weights and body weight, beginners, intermediate, advanced level sessions, 35 minute workouts that you can do in your home. The video and the, sorry, the description to that, the link is in the description in the comment section below. Go check it out, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon.